everybody. Today's project is we're going to be smelting some aluminum in a homemade smelter. Here's what you need. You need a charcoal chimney, a 2 inch PVC pipe with an elbow, some hardware cloth, you need some water, some used oil, you would also need a hand dryer, some bricks, a lighter, you would also need some charcoal and then some tools such as these which you would need to uh, pick up the cans and to put them into the uh, to put them into these you would need something like this and a spoon with some holes in it you would also need and it would be great to have a whisk to get out the excess um, metals that aren't aluminum such as uh, steel here's what we'll be smelting today a hard drive disc some hard drive platters we'll also be um, smelting some heat sinks and al other aluminum parts and some aluminum cans we place the chimney on four concrete bricks We then crumpled some newspapers and filled the bottom. I think some used vegetable oil will help the paper burn longer. Turn the chimney over and fill it with charcoal. Add some more vegetable oil and let the paper from the bottom. Insert a hair dryer into the bottom of the PVC tube and place the elbow under the chimney. Place the hardware cloth over the PVC elbow to prevent large holes from entering the pipe. Turn on the hair dryer and that will help the coals burn at a higher temperature. Once the coals are red hot, put in your cans. You can use tin cans for your crucible, but be sure to clean and dry them. We inserted the hard drive platters first, and then we inserted it in an aluminum can. The aluminum heat sink and various aluminum pieces went into another can. After a few minutes, the cans will start melting and you can add more cans. We kept adding cans until we had inserted about a pound of cans. Now it was time to pour the aluminum from the heat sinks and miscellaneous parts. We didn't remove the slag as it was almost pure aluminum. We pushed the slag over to the side for the hard drive platters and then poured the aluminum. We remove the slag from the aluminum can batch with a whisk. Unfortunately, this can had a leak and we didn't recover as much aluminum as we normally do. After the aluminum had cooled for a few minutes, we placed the ingots in a pie pan and added some water. One of the tin cans leaked and aluminum was caught on the hardware cloth. The PVC elbow also melted. The aluminum parts produced the highest yield ratio. We started with 3.4 ounces or 100 grams and ended with 3 ounces or 85 grams. The hard drive plotter started at 2.6 ounces or 75 grams, but we only recovered 0.8 ounces or 25 grams. 
A pound or 450 grams of aluminum cans usually yield 3 to 4 ounces of aluminum. But because of the leak, we only have 1.4 ounces or 40 grams of aluminum. So we're done smelting and we didn't get as much aluminum as we hoped. Hopefully we'll do better when we um, build our propane smelter and start to smelt aluminum with it. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.